What's up, all my magnesite fasters? Okay, listen, I'm gonna tell you about an eight day water fast that I just completed. I completed it actually um, a few days ago, all right? But I wanna tell you what happened. I was actually documenting it, okay? I was making a video each day like I did with my other fasts. But what I wanted to do, um, things didn't really go the way I exactly wanted them to go, so I decided not to post all of them. But I am going to tell you the finished product and what happened and um, what I've also learned from the fast. Um, and you may have noticed in some of the videos uh, that I did uh, maybe a couple weeks ago that maybe my skin maybe looked it had a little bit more of a glow or a shine to it, made my hair look thicker and darker. That's when I was doing it. I tell you, I lost 12 pounds in the eight days that I did the fast, okay? I planned on going seven to 10, um, but I was actually gonna take it even further. But I tell you what happened that made me stop. One thing I learned and it kind of occurred to me when I you know, was thinking and I was watching different fasting videos and I was reading on fasting while I was fasting, is that people, uh, especially in the past when they fasted, um, because their diet was a lot more nutrient rich, when they would fast, they would be able to fast a lot longer than a lot of us without having any adverse reactions. Because when you fast, your body does lose certain nutrients, all right, certain minerals and vitamins and it can cause your body to react in a certain way, okay? Me, for example, I was starting to get sleep apnea and uh, at that last um, seven, seven and a half days, I started to get uh, arrhythmias, okay? So I said, all right, let me stop because apparently something's happening. I'm getting low on potassium or so something's going on. So if you are not an experienced faster, Okay, you haven't been doing it for several years, your body isn't used to it, I'm going to tell you, make sure, now I've done my 10 day water fast videos where I've talked about how I did it and everything and what happened to me and I had great effects, but also when I got done I was constipated and my skin was really dry. Everything else was fixed, my shoulder, my knee, my skin looked great when it was hydrated, my hair looked great, you know, I had energy like when I was a kid, I mean, it was wonderful, but I'm just saying, if you are not experienced, you're going to ease yourself into it, so make sure you start out doing one day a week, then you do three days, the beginning of every month, and then after every three months, you're going to do, in the beginning of that next month, you're going to do seven to ten if you can if you start to get you know any uh, adverse reactions you might want to back off you may also want to do your fast supervised by a physician natural health care physician okay because they they're going to know what you're doing and you know any other dog oh you're starving yourself when people tell you you're starving yourself during a fast you are not starving you know when you're starving you're literally starving when all your body fat is gone and you have no more nutrition left in your body. That's when you're starving. So that's the difference. When you do not eat, you're abstaining from food. That's it. You're not starving. You're not starving yet. I can't drive that in more than anything because I'll talk to people and I'll say, yeah, well, I'm fasting, you know, I want to detox myself, plus I want to lose some fat. And they're like, oh, of course you're gonna lose weight because you're, you're starving yourself. No, that's not the reason why. You don't know what starving is. You're just saying that, okay? That's all I'm trying to say. So, um, yeah, so when I did the fast, what happened to me? Um, uh, I was starting to get some aches and I was telling y'all that I stopped working out because I was just getting really run down. And um, I had pain in my, my thumb, my forearm, uh, my right knee, my right shoulder, my left elbow. Like, it, I was all broke down. And um, when I, I, I started to gain weight, if some of y'all didn't notice, I started to gain some weight. And um, I went back up to like 217 pounds. And a lot of people told me that they really couldn't tell because the way I hold my weight, um, they didn't feel that I was getting fat. They, they said I looked like I was getting, you know, bulkier. I was getting bigger. 
But what was happening was I was starting to, uh, uh, my, my hernia that I had years ago, it was starting to become aggravated by the weight. Just so you know, being overweight can cause a hernia and it can aggravate a past hernia. Just so you know. So I said, fuck this. I need to get this weight off of me. I need to get it quick because it was starting to bother me. And I was thought, you know, I thought, you know, it might come out or whatever. So I did the fast. First day uh, through the third, kind of the hardest, you know. But usually for me, the first day is the hardest. Once I get over that hump, I'm usually good. By the fourth or fifth day, I start to, ah, I want some food. But this fast was a lot easier than that 10-day fast that I did. I know I missed it by two days, but um, it was great. I mean, just my skin looked better than it did in the last 10-day fast. My hair looked better than it did in the last 10-day fast. Um, last time I did the 10-day fast, my bowels didn't move. This time, they moved every day. And I'm telling y'all, I don't know what this black sludge was that was coming out of me, but it smelled like a thousand dead bodies. So just so y'all know, if y'all fasted and that happens, it was like diarrhea. It was, it was bad, y'all. Like it was, I was just like, oh my god. But I was glad because every time it came out, I knew that I was cleaning myself. I knew that my body was getting clearer and clearer and clearer every day. The pea head color. Um, I had plenty of energy. Um, I really liked this fast, and I do plan on doing another long fast. Uh, most people consider long fast anything more than three to five days, just so you know, okay? So, um, and they, uh, you know, most books suggest that if you're going to fast that long that you, um, you know, do it supervised with a natural health care physician so they can test your blood and, you know, so you can see if you're okay. Now, I was watching long fast videos and water fast videos and the, you know people were this one girl talked about how she had chain, chest pain so bad that she was ready to cry let me tell you something <laughs> she's lucky she didn't die there's been a couple people just so you know if you're not an experienced faster fasting a long water fast could possibly kill you depending on what you're doing during that fast and if it's unsupervised you don't know what's going on because your body has been loaded with so many toxins for so long that it's a shock to relieve so much and you've got all these toxins in your blood that can't be ushered out of your system fast enough so some people have issues um, there's clinics out there that have had a couple of deaths where people go there to fast and you know, the, the, it's not supervised properly. So you gotta make sure if you're not experienced, you start out slow. I get people that write me that are asking, you know, oh, I've got this problem, I got this problem, should I do a 10 day water fast? Um, I believe a 10 day will definitely help you. But if you've never done it before, you may want to, um, you know, ease yourself into it. Last thing I wanna tell you, I am gonna be documenting a juice fast for you. Okay, um, I don't know when I'm going to do it. I planned on doing it in February. For the whole month of February, I want to do a juice fast, organic juice. I'm mainly going to juice organic apples and just drink water. During a juice fast, you're supposed to drink water. Okay, um, um, I may take my athletic greens, which is uh, hardly has any calories at all. It has all the nutrients I would need just in case to get me through just in case any, any adverse reactions would happen again. But that's the main point of a juice fast. You're getting nutrients while um, cutting down the strain on the digestive system. Because when you juice, boom, it hits the stomach, the nutrients just go right into your bloodstream. You got what I'm saying? So um, I'm going to be documenting that, okay? I plan on doing it. Um, I probably won't be uploading a video every day. I may either do a video every day and then put them all together in one long video. Or I may do them all and then release them all the same day. Or I may do them weekly. I'm not sure how I want to do it yet. So February is coming up real soon. So, you know, yeah. Um, but, yeah, that's all I got to say about the water fast. Make sure you do your research. Make sure you ease yourself into it if you never have done it. And uh, 
yeah, that's about it. I felt great. My thinking was clear, everything. My eyesight improved. In the 10-day water fast, when I was done, my eyesight got worse. It was a strain on my body. I've done the, <laughs> I've done the research and I, I went into it too fast. Even though I've read about fasting, I didn't really, really, really read about it. So make sure you read up on as much as you can about it before you jump into it, okay? Otherwise, otherwise, I would say if you want to do a long fast, do a juice fast. Juice fasts are a lot easier. You're getting all the nutrients you need. You still get the healing crises where you're throwing up, possibly, or you got the shits, or you know other things. Your body's stinking. Your breath is stinking. Different things can happen to you when you fast, but that's your body cleansing itself, getting rid of all those toxins and building new tissue up. Okay, just so you know, lost 12 pounds in those eight days. But if y'all haven't noticed much difference in between. With my body, you can see I didn't lose much muscle. I really didn't. So for all y'all afraid of fasting, because you're afraid you're going to lose all your gains, don't worry about it. You won't. Your body just breaks down and tears down uh, viruses. Actually, eats tumors, I found out now. They said some people had tumors falling out of their butt because they had polyps. So when they would go to the bathroom, they're, they're, yeah, it's viruses, tumors, fungus, dead muscle tissue. Dead, useless muscle tissue, it will break down. But... If you can set your ego aside for a minute, that's best. Set your ego aside, be willing to lose a few pounds of muscle if you're really more concerned about your health versus how much muscle you got on your frame. Because the last time I checked, bodybuilders don't live to 120, okay? There are some that are into their 90s, 90s, maybe even 100, I think. But I think I've only seen like a 90-something year old bodybuilder. Most, of, most people that are bodybuilders don't live that long. Um, your body goes through a certain amount of strain with the type of training that bodybuilders do. That's why it's just a hobby for me. It's not a profession. Um, I probably will develop a more slender body shortly, uh, just so you know. I'm, I'm still going to bodybuild, but not as much. Um, I'm crafting my lifestyle to fit my main goals in life. The main goal is life in my life is to live a happy and healthy life as long as possible so I can experience and learn as much as possible in my life and become the ultimate form of me, Tyrone Magnus. So, all right, hope this video was informative. Hit me with any questions you got and I'll talk to y'all later.